the God of honor is led by the police mounted squadron. The guard is under the command of the parade commander, assistant superintendent of police, Mr. Richard Wierkin. He is supported by assistant superintendent of police, Sunrise Leocadia Adeka. Oh, dead arms! Dressing in open order, in walk, dress. The guard of honor is being taken through dressing by Lance Corporal Godwin Dogbefu. Right! Stand the ice! Good morning once again, and you are welcome to the National Police Training School here in Tesano, Accra, for the pullout ceremony of Director General Police Public Affairs. Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kwesi Ofori. The Guard of Honor is supported by the Police Central Band under the directorship of Assistant Commissioner of Police, Dr. Frank Hupoti. Show the arms! We are standing to witness the arrival of the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kwesi Ofori. Morning, sir. Guard of Honor Parade format, made up of 70 men, drawn from the National Police Training School, supported by the Mounted Squadron and the Police Central Band, ready for inspection. Assistant Superintendent of Police Richard Wierkinwelle reporting, sir. Yes, sir. Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kwesio Ofori, started his police career over 35 years ago and rose through the ranks to his present rank as the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of Public Affairs Directorate. He also obtained his first degree from the same institute and went further to obtain his master's degree specializing in public relations from the same institute, that is Ghana Institute of Journalism, in 2015. Of the department, and now the director general of the department. And he served to the best of his abilities. Mr. Fori has served as a district commander at Abraka, district commander Dodoa. He also became a divisional commander at Dodoa. 
He also became the Deputy Commander of VVIP Unit Office of the President. He has attended several courses, both local and international, and served in a peacekeeping mission in Liberia. He gave direction to the public relations practice in the Ghana Police Service. Mr. Foy conceived so many programs which improved the image of the police service. Members of the Police Management Board present, honorable members of Parliament present, invited guests, officers and men of the service, officers from our sister security services, family members and friends of this UP, Mr. Kwesi Fori, friends from the media, beloved people of God gathered here. On Friday, 30th July 2021, that was last year, I stood at this very place on this parade ground to give a reflection at the pull-out ceremony of the immediate past Inspector General of Police, Mr. James Opombueno. Today is the turn of this COP, Mr. Kwesi Ofori, Director General of Public Affairs, Directorate of the Ghana Police Service. Indeed, time flies. One of the meditational physical training songs I learned during my under cadet training this year is we all go go small small. Pull out ceremony or retirement of offices. Clearly depicts this song. The reality of life is all active workers will go on retirement one day. Hence, one needs to plan and prepare for it. Retirement appears to be punishment for those who do not prepare for it. The former US President Franklin Roosevelt once said, and I quote, if you come to the end of the rope, tie a knot and hang up. Today, a great professional in the area of public relations, in the area of journalism, in the area of communication, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kwesi Ofori, exits the Ghana Police Service after 35 years of committed service. Indeed, Mr. Ofori, you have made your mark. Your reportage Press releases are clear to all readers and viewers. You projected the image of the service and the commitment of serving officers at all times. Your human relations have been positive and attractive. You have been the spokesperson for the service for many years and you perform creditably. Your assuring words to the public at any crime scene or riot control setting, the police is in control. And the police administration will do all it takes to bring perpetrators to book. Portray your professionalism and the hardworking spirit the zeal and determination of the police administration and its officers. These same words also bring hope to victims, their families, and the larger society. Today is your last day of wearing the police uniform. Indeed, no human situation is permanent all shall pass. The service is grateful to you 
for your inputs, contributions in building and restoring the image of the service. I say I equal to you. Today, you join the living ancestors of the service. You really have volumes of expertise, knowledge, and experiences to share. It is undoubtedly clear that you will be approached and contacted when the need arises. Computer can offer a wide spectrum of knowledge, but only human beings can share their life experiences to others. Now a message to all serving officers and all workers of the nation. You will also exit one day. Prepare for it. However, you have one challenging duty to perform before your retirement. Groom others to take over from you one day. A good leader is one whose absence is not felt by the organization because he or she has groomed and nurtured people to take over in his absence. Don't be selfish. Sell your expertise knowledge for the benefit of our contemporary and unborn generations. Help form, nurture, and groom the youth, the future leaders of our nation. Identify people with expected potentials and capabilities and train them. Your absence should never create administrative gap, but an opportunity for others to continue. Don't ever deceive yourselves to be the epitome of wisdom and knowledge. No human being is indispensable. Succession plan is key for the development, the growth, and stability of any given organization. Leave behind positive attributes. Win for yourselves repeatable laurels in your area of work. Make a remarkable impact and difference before you exit. Whatever you do today, you are sowing a seed to be harvested by your own children in future. Take decisions and actions that always lead to the growth and stability of the organization, of the society, and of the nation. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful the way you treat people, especially your subordinates, and handle the resources of an organization. Be careful in handling them when you are in power or in authority. Remember, the third pole is a potential or future frog. Be always guided by right conscience. Whatever position you occupy today, know that you are a steward or caretaker. You are accountable to God and the society. Finally, it is highly recommended that Pula ceremony should be documented in the police service instructions. It must clarify the mystery of Pula ceremony. Who qualifies for it and who determines it? This COP, Mr. Kwesifori, I wish you well on your retirement. It is a great honor to leave your area of work with credit. Have time for yourself. Have time for your family. And make time for God. Enjoy your retirement period. Ayuko, Ayuko. Congratulations to you, DCOP Kwasifori, 
and your families. May God Almighty bless us all. Thank you. It's a citation in honor of Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Kwesi Ofori. You have excellently served the Ghana Police Service through the ranks to the status of Police Management Board member, POMA. You have been a role model, mentored many officers of the service. Your leadership, dedication, and enthusiasm to duty is exemplary. After years of hard work, after years of hard work, you finally attain this milestone with unblemished record. The Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufu Dampari, and the entire police administration congratulates you on your retirement and wish you a happy and peaceful civilian life. Have, a, have the happiest of retirement. Thank you very much. And now I invite the celebrant to come and receive this wonderful award from the Inspector General of Police. Thank you. On behalf, on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufu. Puma members present, the Commandant Police Academy, the Commanding Officer, National Police Training School, invited guests, friends, and let me also acknowledge the presence of honorable members of parliament, astute politicians present, families, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. As the sun rises and sets, so is our life wherever we are. It starts somewhere and surely ends elsewhere. The good book says, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven. A journey of more than three decades comes to an end, and today is my last as a serving police officer. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, here I have a few pattern words to four particular groups of people who were instrumental in my illustrious career. The good people of Ghana we serve, the media who observe, the gallant men and women of the Ghana Police Service who have worked with for more than 31 years and beyond, as well as my good family. To our people, Sir Robert Peel, a great British statesman and father of modern day policing once said, the police are the public and the public are the police. You are the reason why we do, know we do what we do, to serve you, to protect life and property. We join the police service because we want to make a difference for our communities, for our families, for victims of crime, for the helpless, and for struggling souls, and that stumble through the very worst of their lives. 
it was never about pecuniary benefit, power, or fame. It was for the adventure and for the painful privilege of venturing into the hurting career places where we want to restore calm. Cast aside all fears and protect life and property as well as to safeguard humanity. Here, let me emphasize that the police in our contemporary times, spearheaded by Dr. George Kufudampari, has brought in a major paradigm shift in policing, simply to serve our people. And to serve our people better, then rule of law should be the bedrock of our posture. And I would like to appeal to Ghanaians at this juncture to embrace this new paradigm shift where rule of law is the basis. Where one who commits offense does not go free or does not escape justice. And that justice must be done in line with our constitutions and all lawful arrangements. And let's support that. I.e., people who jump traffic lights, people who run on the shoulders of, 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 of our roads, maiming and killing the young weak, among others. Let us support the police administration in this major drive to bring sanity on our roads. That is why Operation Parry have also come to the fore, making sure that indisciplined riders are brought to book, making sure that riding ambassadors also come to the fore to assist the police. So you might have noticed a strong paradigm shift, making everything possible that the Ghanaian live well. And I would like to appeal to all Ghanaians to encourage this illustrious son of our land, the Inspector General of Police and members of his administration to achieve the best for us. We cannot live anyhow, behave anyhow, drive anyhow, commit crimes and go scot-free. No. Those periods have come to an end and the police will behave like any well-known democratic police force in the world. And that is the push that we've taken. The law is no respecter of persons. And as citizens, we should succumb to the laws of this land and make it great. And I want you to know that in spite of our very evident limitations and imperfections of humans, the majority of men and women I have pri privileged to work with over the years are just about an extraordinary as people can ever be. People of great courage and compassion, people of heroism and humanity, people of bravery and brilliance, people of determination, and that precious old-fashioned thing called duty. To your safety, these gallant men and women have laid down their lives. We might have noticed the contribution of our young men and women in the Bono East fighting highway robberies on the Northern Corridor, fighting robberies of all kinds, and some have even left their homes for the last six months, so committed to make sure that security governance operate in those areas. And this is what the police administration stands for. This is the new offer that we're doing to make the Ghanaians safe, to make sure that our traders who commute from one place to the other go there safely and will continue to do that. So see policemen as people who have dedicated their lives to the cause of our people. And some experience death, injury, among others. But we are very happy through the instrumentality of the Inspector General of Police and members of his administration. We've seen the medical fund put in place, assisting those who have been injured, those who have been maimed, those who have challenges physically, mentally, among others, are being catered for locally and abroad. 
what this means is that we need your help and support insight and challenge more than ever before you need to be demanding of us because you deserve the best from us but you also need to understand the incredible pressures we face as police officers to make the country safe the truth is that we will always do our job better when we do it side by side with you since policing is a shared responsibility we all have a part to play in crime fighting and the general maintenance of law and order let us support the campaign against rider indiscipline on our roots let us support the police in their various campaigns for safety of everyone and more importantly let us achieve acts of lawlessness in all forms that our societies can develop to enable our develop and grow better to the media partners it has been a fruitful journey with you and as you are very much aware the police and the media have that symbiotic relationship and that symbiotic relationship has grown positively the police are not saying cover our back when things go wrong that is not what we are saying but all that we are saying is support us in our true campaigns in the campaign of indiscipline against riders campaign against armed robbers campaign against criminals making our roads safer and all other things and we hope for years you've gotten us right in all these areas that i'm talking about the relationship we built and the spirit of togetherness that we forge while working together will forever be etched in my heart and also in the chambers of my memory it is right that Ghanaians are entitled to expect the best from the police than they do of anyone else the authority bestowed on us and the assurances we give mean that we occupy a unique position in society it is in this vein that you the media always hold us to our professional standards for which we are grateful as i exit from office and the ghana police service i charge you to continue to render your unflinching support to the service and the country as a whole be balanced in your media narratives about policing your headlines should not always clamor with accusations that the police are bad that the police with all the negatives see the good things that the police are doing we would have been happy the media going to a from place where we put a lot of policemen to protect readers who move to a from place you know to buy foodstuffs until that was done there were victims of robberies and so forth we would like also to see the media looking at the role that policemen play uh, from part of Ashanti going to Bono East uh, from Petuda, Kejeji, Yeji, Zamrama, those areas we would like the media to do an in-depth research work to see the commitment of our people and the way we offer the best of service to our people. in as much as you expect much from them never also grow tired of talking about their everyday bravery and heroism dears to us stories that demand to be told there are real heroes who stand in the gap between you and the enemy in the hell of rush to confed rich and apportion blame we need to remember that sometimes people make mistakes honest entirely human mistakes and i therefore encourage you to always remain partners of the ghana police service to encourage our transformation agenda and also to make sure that we serve the people of ghana better and now to the last in line the gallant men and women of the ghana police service first to my boss the inspector general of police 
Dr. George Kufudampari, thank you for the honor done me to serve you and your administration, the Ghana Police Service in particular, and the whole, and the country as a whole. You have brought me to the pinnacle of my career and one I will forever cherish. To my affable colleagues in the service, to my affable colleagues in the service, of which I was one, I am proud to count you as friends. Thank you for the, your comradeship. To the men and women of the service, especially those I personally work with, I love the time I spent with you. Aside from my immediate family, I will choose your company ahead of almost any other every single day. You have exhibited that policing is all about people. You have shown that it is people who save lives. It is people who find lost children. It is people who protect the vulnerable. It is people who confront the dangers in society. It is people who patrol the streets and neighborhoods at all hours of the day and night. And it is you and the men and women of this noble service who get beaten and spat at, punched and stabbed and shot. That's why all this, your love for the public is unrelenting. Our job is to serve them, look after them and enable them to do their jobs to the very best of their abilities without fear or favor. To my lovely family, you have been the pillar in my life throughout this journey. Your support, care, and encouragement. And above all, love have been the strength that carry me through it all. I would not have been where I am if not because of you. Loving you has always been my most important duty and my great joy. On this note, I say thank you to everyone, um, my wife, my children, and allied families present here. The sweet memories will forever linger on. God bless the Ghana Police Service and God bless us all. Sir, pray it over. May I have your permission to march off the guard, sir? Yes, sir.
as he has mounted the vehicle to oh. exit finally from the police service. He will be waving his handkerchief and the ones that we shared for all of us. Oh, he should do the same to show some form no. Shall we please be upstanding? I wave the white handkerchief in appreciation for the service rendered to the Ghana Police Service and Mother Ghana at large. Indeed, he has contributed his quota to the development of the nation in terms of provision, direction, in communication in the Ghana Police Service as well. That is the Director General Police Public Affairs, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Consul Fori, finally exiting office and the police service. We wish you well in your retirement. May the Almighty God protect you and your family. We also want to thank the Member of Parliament for WA West, Honorable Mr. Honorable Peter Togu from the sister security agencies as well for your support. Later on.